Welcome back to Casual Gamer Oz as we now move in to round seven of F1 2017 Season 7. Ferrari driver Ben Waterworth. We are racing here in Canada, Montreal. Let's get into this. Of course, best finish here is winning and best uh, qualifying is pole. So that's basically what you need to know. We have a brand spanking new rival after our last little tie with Seb Vettel. Our new rival is Mr. Valtteri Bottas. Our very first time we have a Mercedes driver as a rival so there you go folks there you go we've had uh both raikkonen and vettel and uh we beat raikkonen of course and we tied with vettel so i bet once we beat botas we will probably then have lewis hamilton as our rival they might give us like ricardo or verstappen who knows anyway i think we should easily get pole position here in montreal and i think we should easily win the montreal grand prix Given that we can do it in a Toro Rosso, we should romp away in a Ferrari. This car feels very, very good around uh, my favourite circuit. Circuit, whatever. You know what I mean. Alrighty. Close to the DRS zone here. Which we're about to get into now. And we do not even have to sneakily try and cut the last chicane, which we got away with last year. We can actually drive through it absolutely correctly like so whack open the drs again come across the line to find ourselves pole easy jeff does not want to thank me we've been on pole in every grand prix this year except for australia and except for monaco so there is a little stat for you moving forward and it's another ferrari lockout seven tenths if you don't mind massa well done fifth place for felipe good on you his teammate only in tenth so uh yeah we'll see how we go uh in race day where where how's my how's toro rosso going uh shit uh <laughs> 16th and 18th oh well all right let's get into the next date and we're gonna do that now Right, we need to get back on track here in terms of um, championship-wise and, of course, uh, winning-wise. Three Grand Prix this year. This time last season, we'd only won the one. That was in Monaco after we uh, rigged it. I say cheat, rigged. Rigged is rigged the more appropriate terminology there, I feel, rather than cheating. I'm going to yawn. Hey, 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 hey. Alright, so we'll cross over the 1,000 point threshold, so we might be able to do some updates to the car as well. Please be a dry race. No! Fuck. Alright. Wet Montreal. Well, we've got a pole in a wet Russia, so uh, first wet race of the season. And uh, we'll see how we go. See how we go, motherfucker. You're the <laughs> Excuse me. Alrighty. Alrighty. Oh, it's pussing. Well, that should be full wets. That's cool. definitely full wets. Oh well, we've always said we like the full wets more so than the um the uh the the the, the inters, that's what I'm trying to say, Benjamin. Oh one point six oh. No, we won't put it to rich mode just yet. Go in Canada. We're off and racing. Trying to maintain the lead into the first corner. Vettel to the right of us. I think we're going to lead into the first corner for the very first time in our career. That feels very good. That feels very nice indeed. It is a strong start, isn't it, Jeffrey? Thank you very much. I appreciate the uh, words of support, considering that you couldn't even do that after I got pole position yesterday, you bastard. Not talking to me or something, I don't know. Maybe it's because I keep calling Chris you. And of course I got another talking to by Chris. Our upgrade pace is looking solid. But do remember we can update the colour. Shut the fuck up, Chris. I wish you could turn them off. Like, we don't need Chris to come and tell you shit that you already fucking know. Sometimes you want to save up the points to use them, prickhead. Alright, focus on this Grand Prix, Benjamin. You've kind of written this one down almost as a guaranteed win, and well... You've got to make it to the end yet. And uh, it's Ferrari, Ferrari, Mercedes, Mercedes behind you. So, all to play for in this Grand Prix with a wet one. Does add the tricky dicky levels a little bit higher here, of course. We make our way through the last chicane. 
and get ourselves stretching our legs a little bit. Now, if all things go to plan, I really do feel as though we can win the next four Grand Prix. Azerbaijan is kind of the tricky dicky one there in terms of, uh, you know, concentration levels there. Because it's an easy one to uh, go into the wall and lose concentration. Austria I'm good at. Britain I'm surprisingly good at, even though I don't necessarily like the circuit. So I feel as though, and I'm probably jinxing myself by saying this, we can easily get 100 points out of the next four Grand Prix. Hungary will be a bit of a question mark, because obviously we had to reduce the difficulty there last year, but with a better performing car, I mean, it's kind of like Spain in a way, I feel, that, uh, you know, we might be able to surprise ourselves. Belgium and Italy, yeah. Uh, I feel confident enough there, even though we uh, obviously don't have that high-power engine that we did in the Toro Rosso. And then Singapore's kind of a bit like Azerbaijan, isn't it? It's kind of like, well, it can go our way or it can't go our way. Malaysia, pretty confident about. And uh, Japan, well, I was surprisingly good there last year for a car that uh, obviously I had to reduce the difficulty on. So we'll see how we fare there. USA and Mexico, we know we do well at. Brazil, we know we do well at. Navi Derby, it all really depends on the qualifying. And considering we're doing very well in the qualifying this time around, I feel that we uh, should be winning the shot. So really, realistically, we can... I mean, I'd love to win the remainder of the races this year. That would be fantastic. But... Uh, yeah, anyway, Vettel has just taken my fastest lap away, you little bastard. Gotta make it to the end of this one first yet, Ben. So you, again, you're getting a little bit ahead of yourself at the time being. Just gotta keep doing your thing. Doing as best you can with your thing. So we aim for back-to-back -back world championships. I do feel like I might remain the remaining four seasons at Ferrari, barring, of course, getting fired, of course. I mean, maybe last season we could end out with Mercedes and Red Bull, perhaps, just to try our luck at another team with a championship. But I definitely feel I like... I've worked so hard to get to Ferrari that uh, I think we might just uh, see it out with them. What do you think? All right. Oh, get a bit of a slide there. Go past my grandstand and down the back straight. And we find ourselves two laps away now from another victory, our fourth of the season. Oh, well, be careful there. Make sure we uh, do it all correctly. Yep, good job. Thank you. Oh, Jeffrey. 1.6 seconds to our teammate. Well, we want to go to about a two-second lead in case any sort of random penalties befall us. Which, I mean, we don't obviously want a random penalty to befall us. But uh, sometimes you've got to have a contingency plan in place should the worst happen. And, of course, we don't want the worst to happen. Anyway, focus now on yourself here, Ben. Focus on yourself. Well, oh, sliding around a little bit there. As we go to the towards the hairpin. Whoa, big slide. Go offline there. Oh, engine sounds like it's a misfiring. How is our engine going, by the way? What is up to Richmond? We may as well. We uh, changed our gearbox. There's a mandatory five or six Grand Prix gearbox change. And we haven't actually changed our engine once this season, funnily enough. The uh, durability levels actually, because uh, coming into this team obviously with improved points into Ferrari, the durability scale on the uh, the car was quite high because we didn't focus at all on any of the durability at Toro Rosso. Because again, five like Grand Prix, why do you need to? But uh, yeah. Another fastest lap as we start our final lap here in Montreal. We earmarked this one down for a pretty much guaranteed victory. And even in a very, very wet race, it looks as though we're going to be romping our way to our fourth victory of the season. We've got that two-second lead over our teammate. Not only will it be our fourth 
victory of the season. It will be the fourth Ferrari 1-2 out of seven Grand Prix. It's the other races, two of the one by Vettel and one won by Hamilton, which I really threw that one away. So, yeah. Disappointing, of course, Bahrain, that result. It's a race that I lost, I feel. But anyway, we're here in Canada. We're around the hairpin, into the back straight. As we prepare ourselves for victory number four of season seven on F1 2017. It was a pole. Lights the flag. Victory. Fastest lap. A dominant performance here in Montreal after our disappointing Monaco. If we can hold on to it in the last game, we do. Victory in Canada. We are the Canadian King. Cross that line now. Thank you, Jeffrey. So uh, bored was I with that win. It seems that my driver didn't even want to pump his fist. But uh, there we go. Back onto the winner's rostrum. And uh, definitely one that we will take as Maurizio gets very happy. -o. That rain's uh, somehow raining inside the shelter there, even though they've got a roof. Go figure. And again, the same celebration. Uh, does, do like people notice that all the drivers celebrate exactly the same way at the end of every race? Do they look and go, oh, why do they just celebrate the same every single time? They just get up on top of the car, put their arms out, and that's it. Ocon got ninth. Ninth. That's fairly decent, Esteban. There we go. Celebrate good times. Come on. It's a little bit of blurriness on some of the race suit there. The textures, which they did fix. Yes, look how happy I am, the ugly motherfucker. Spraying it everywhere. All over Lewis, all over the camera. And they're going to kiss each other. Yep, not really. Well done. Well done, chumbly bum. And after this round of the world so, here's how who will be the driver of the day? The well, the top ten stayed exactly the same. And their advantage at the top has been reduced. Van Dorn's the only one who moved a, a place in the entire Grand Prix. <laughs> he's the only one who does it because he's the only one who uh, gained a position. Interesting. Okay. Standings. We moved now within 19 of Seb. Vettel, Bottas, Ricardo, Verstappen, Perez, Massa, Grosjean and Ocon Constructors. No change there either. 59 points. We moved clear ahead. 249 points. So interestingly, I scored 115 points. Uh, so already nearly the second most we've ever scored in a championship. So let's take a look at our career score, which we should get a little bit of a boost. Obviously, having a one and pole and had a fairly dominant performance across the weekend. And we'll see how we fare here. If it wants to load up, any time today. Any time today would be great, Mr. Snay. I don't know who Mr. Snay is, but anyway. So we're going to actually take the time here to put an upgrade on our car as we lead our rivalry and we get our <laughs> Toro Rosso wankers. Uh, yep, cool. Uh, no, we're not going to do one of those. Uh, let's just have a look at our upgrade. What can we upgrade here, people? What, what do we think we want to upgrade here? We are going to go across now here to... Red Bull's overtaken Mercedes, funnily enough. Not the durability, so powertrains are 10 out of 15, 12 out of 21, 15 out of 26. Um, how's the overall? Overall, our chassis is ahead, so that's fine. Overall, our aero's ahead, and overall, our powertrain. Wow, we've dropped behind Force India. Ooh, we need to update our powertrain, I feel, so we can go fuel technology power, which we can't afford. We can't afford that. We can't afford that. Um, we can't. Aff we can't afford anything. We have to wait to twelve hundred. So we will have to wait. Sadly, folks, another round. Okay, never mind. Or well, we can always go the uh, route here. File has to be paid to chance on your high performance power trains upgrades. Failing total thirty seven percent. Four out of five. What's up here? Uh, additional enhanced energy ten percent. 30% less in total resource points are required to create new high power performance. We did that before in there. We're going to go that right before. All right, we'll have to wait till next round uh, till we get a bit more there. But anyway, that's been Canada. We're one. We're off to Azerbaijan next. Like, subscribe, comment. Thank you for tuning us in to Casual Game Rolls, and we'll speak to you in Azerbaijan. Good night.